and welcome to you talking to me. Today we focus on the victory of Syriza at the Greek elections. The anti-austerity and left-wing party led by Alexis Tsipras nearly gained the majority at the Greek elections. So how will Tsipras manage to deal with its EU partners and creditors? That's the question we focus today. And to discuss this, my guest is a member of Syriza party and also a member of the United Left, the European United Left in the European European Parliament, Kostas Chrysogonos. Kalimera. Bonjour and uh, thanks for the invitation. You're welcome. So, uh, this is the first time an anti-austerity party will lead a government in the European Union. So, to, this is Syriza's victory represents the symbol of anti-austerity in the European Union. This is a big challenge. So, Mr. Chrysogonos, are you under pressure now? Uh, well, I expect that uh, the new government of Greece, which is comprised of two anti-austerity parties, one left-wing, Syriza, which is the, um, the first, the strongest party in the Greek parliament, and second, the ANEL, which is a rather conservative but anti-austerity party, uh, this government uh, will be under heavy pressure from the European institutions and from other uh, member states of the Eurozone. That's uh, obvious. Uh, but uh, Europe uh, has found its way through compromises and uh, it must find uh, an acceptable compromise mm -hmm. once more so that uh, Greece can um, breathe because now nowadays we cannot breathe. Uh, we are suffering from asphyxia. We, it's a, a, a social and economic situation which is uh, really hopeless. So the big question is whether Greece will pay its debt or not. So it, uh, its debt has reached around two, 320 billion euros, and this represents more than 170% of its national domestic product, almost three times what is acceptable under EU rules. Mm. So your party is ready to negotiate this, but uh, the Eurogroup chief, Mr. Dijsselboom, said during the EU finance ministers reminded yesterday that there won't be any restructuration of the debt. So how will you manage these negotiations? Uh, well, uh, this is not a reasonable position. Uh, it's obvious that Greece cannot service its debt. Uh, this debt mountain is so heavy that it impedes Greek economy from recovering. Uh, it's, as you mentioned, three times as high as uh, the Maastricht rule of 60% of GDP, uh, a ratio of uh, a debt GDP ratio of 60%. Now in Greece we have uh, almost an 180% uh, debt GDP ratio. And uh, as much as you would like to reform or transform Greek economy and society, it's not going to be able to service that debt. It's like trying to reform a donkey into a, ra a racing horse. It's not possible, whatever you may So, uh, Mr. Tsipras has promised it's, too much it's, then. <laughs> the, uh, the program, which has been uh, uh, undersigned by the previous Greek governments and the Troika, foresees that Greece should achieve for uh, a very uh, substantial number of years to come, um, primary surpluses in its budget, fiscal surpluses of uh, around 5% of its GDP, and at the same time achieve a growth rate of 3 or 4% at least a year. This has not happened anywhere, and it cannot happen in Greece. Uh, the Greek economy was never so strong that mm. <laughs> it could achieve such so, goals. Uh, it was an utopia from the very beginning. So now, I mean, Greece has to, I mean, to stick to reform and austerity anyway. I mean, even if they want to negotiate with EU partners, even if there is a possibility of delaying some bailouts, that's the possibility. So, but you are, are you ready to make some concessions? Syriza is ready to make some concessions. Of course, in a, in a table for negotiations, every side, both sides must make concessions. Uh, we have a program which we can negotiate. The other side has uh, agreements which have been uh, signed. 
uh, which cannot be fulfilled. So both sides must make uh, concessions that uh, an acceptable uh, compromise can be found. But uh, if the point of departure for the creditors is that pacta sunt servanda, that everything that has been uh, agreed upon must be uh, accepted and respected, then there is uh, no room for negotiation. There is no negotiation at all. Because uh, the Greek people have uh, have decided exactly that they can't fulfill their part of the contract. It's impossible, as I said. Okay, we will come back uh, onto this, but we will um, have Stavros Samuelidis from Sky Radio, our Greek journalist partner, who has a question to to ask you from Greece, actually. Hi, Leticia. Hi, Mr. Hussolanos. Um, so my question, you've already discussed a bit about that, but obviously everyone recognizes um, the win of Syriza as an opportunity uh, in Greece, but also abroad for Europe to change. Um, however, many also underline the big contradictions when Syriza says it's going to put an end to austerity and finish with the Troika, while continuing to receive at the same time money from the European Union and the IMF, and Syriza is also saying it's going to guarantee the country's path inside the Eurozone. So how would you comment on that? How are these contradictions can find a link between themselves? We don't want any new loans from uh, the European Union or the member states of the Eurozone or the IMF. Greece uh, is now at a situation where it has primary a, a, a fiscal a primary fiscal surplus in its budget. That means that before uh, repaying, uh, debt repayment and interests and interest, uh, it can service its needs with its own means. So we are not a net burden for anybody. We also have a current account surplus. Uh, so uh, the question is, whether we can uh, service the accumulated public debt uh, as uh, agreed or not. And the simple and clear answer is that we cannot. And uh, austerity is not a means for achieving this goal. Mm -hmm. uh, austerity has uh, put, uh, as it was uh, implemented, austerity put uh, the Greek uh, economy in a worse situation than it was before. So let's have a look now at our, at our reactions on Facebook. So Giorgio wrote that it's the end of austerity or it will be the end of Europe. Will you understand that? And Andy, could the coalition, so he's uh, asking a question about the coalition between Syriza and the independent Greeks party, which form a government lead to closer links between the European United Left and the European Conservatives and Reformist Group at the European level. So this is an unexpected coalition from uh, mm -hmm. Syriza with the right-wing party, we have to mention it. So why um, are you expected behind this coalition? Uh, well, there are uh, seven political parties in the Greek parliament. Three of them, uh, which are in the minority, are essentially backing the Troika. They are uh, pro-Troika forces, so to say. Four of them are anti-Troika and anti-memorandum. The first is the Communist Party, which has ruled out from the very beginning any cooperation with Syriza, and which wants to exit the Eurozone and the European Union. Mm, but there is also to Potami, a pro-European Pot uh, country. Potami is uh, not only pro uh, Potami is uh, pro-memorandum. Potami wants uh, to, impl to implement this austerity program further. It's not anti-austerity, it's not anti-memorandum. So you Therefore, wanted to have a coalition is, with an anti-austerity party. Exactly. So, and the only one uh, is uh, There are four anti-austerity parties. One of them is the communists, who have ruled out any cooperation with us. Uh, the other is uh, the Golden Dawn, the, the neo-Nazis, mm. <laughs> who are out of question anyway. And uh, the two left are Syriza and the ANEL. The ANEL is uh, a center, uh, a centrist yeah. movement, which is anti-austerity, but it has some uh, more uh, 
patriotic or national, mm. nationalistic overtones. Uh, we don't agree in everything, of course, uh, but uh, we agree uh, in as much as uh, austerity must be ended and uh, a renego a renegotiation of the Greek public debt must be introduced. Okay, then. But two uh, anti-austerity parties in a coalition would be difficult to make some negotiation then afterwards with EU partners. It's going to be even more difficult if you don't have a quite a really good balance between them. Well, uh, the fact is that austerity has not helped Europe overcome the crisis. The United States has uh, followed, uh, have followed another path towards growth and uh, more jobs, mm -hmm. and uh, they have succeeded in overcoming the financial crisis as well. Here in Europe, we have a public debt for all member states yes. of the Eurozone, which stood at 83% of their combined GDP at 2010, and it stands at 95% right now, mm -hmm. far away from the Maastricht uh, Treaty goal of 60%. So okay. uh, it doesn't pay off uh, austerity and more austerity and more austerity. We must find another way. Okay, we will see what how this coalition will, uh, will go on. But uh, we have a last question from our Spanish partner, from Cassia Eyon. Uh, Ruben. Hi there, from Spain. I want to ask if you think that we'll will be an expansion of the Suiza model, not only in Spain or countries in the south of Europe. Do you think that we will have new politicians, young, charismatic, anti-establishment, as Pablo Iglesias, Podemos in Spain, across Europe? Well, uh, the critical point is not uh, if they are young or old, the critical and charismatic or not. The critical point is that, they, uh, that politicians must ask for another policy across Europe, and this has to be a policy which is different from the policies implemented by traditional political forces, like uh, the right-wing government in Spain uh, and the uh, right-wing government uh, in Greece also, uh, up, to, uh, uh, up to now, which are not paying off. We need uh, new uh, political parties which are not guilty for the sins committed in the past, and we need new policies. That's the critical point, and I think that Podemos in Spain is uh, uh, an ally for us. Uh, Podemos is a, a part of uh, the European United Left, as you know, mm -hmm. and uh, I think that it would be a very significant development for Europe if Podemos could win at the forthcoming uh, Spanish election. Okay, so uh, thank you um, for coming. We will see how the other parties in Europe will be inspired by Syriza. Thank and you, thank my pleasure. Thank you. And thank you, you, for following us and see you next time. Bye.